Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a quick flip through and closer look into the Science Fusion series. If you're interested to see what this curriculum looks like, stay tuned. Okay guys, so what you guys see here is a hodgepodge of just a bunch of different uh, grade levels as far as Science Fusion goes. This is what I have, but I do get a lot of requests about what the Science Fusion curriculum looks like. So I'm gonna give you guys quick flip throughs as to the ones that I own, so you guys can get a better understanding as to what this curriculum looks like. Okay, so as far as the Science Fusion goes, it is a pretty open and go curriculum. It's a work text format. What that means is that the workbook is your textbook. It's totally, completely consumable. If you were to purchase this used through either eBay, Amazon, Half Price Books, any types of those homeschool consignment stores, most of the time you're not going to have the digital format. Because as far as I know from what I've researched, there's a digital way of purchasing it. Now, if you're a, obviously a homeschooler, you can go through Rainbow Resources and actually purchase it through them. I believe they're between $100 and $140, depending on the grade level. But I think, as far as I know, the teacher guide is completely paperless, digital, and some of the lessons are digital also, and your student also gets the work text to work from. That is just information that I've gathered. I'm not exactly certain on that. I've only ever purchased it used through either eBay, Amazon, Half Price Books, basically wherever I can find it. I recently found this one at Goodwill. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you guys a little information on this. As far as Science Fusion goes, it is a secular science curriculum. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it to not make this video super long. I'm gonna first show you guys what I have in front of me. I am missing a couple grade levels and I am missing some teacher guides and some flip charts, but I'll show you guys what I have. So this first book here, this is the kindergarten level. This is the work textbook. And um, I'll give you a flip chart in a second. I do not have the first grade level because we used that last year. And like I said, these are totally consumable. So once we used it, I basically kept it for a couple of weeks and then I recycled it. This year, we're actually working out of the second grade level. Both my boys are doing the same science and I've kept them just on the same grade levels. It's no big deal for us. As far as science, it's basically the same stuff you're learning. It's just the worksheets are going to be just a little harder, which I have no real hang up on that. So... This is a second grade level here. And then I don't have the third grade level. I do have the fourth grade level. I recently came across this at a Goodwill and I couldn't pass it up. They actually had two of them and I couldn't pass them up. So I went ahead and actually stooped both of them up. This is the teacher guide here. This is the one obviously for the second grade level. And then this is the flip chart. This flip chart was actually for the first grade level. And like I said, I don't have the books because we use those. If you buy it used, you're most likely going to have to buy the textbook. You're most likely going to have to buy the teacher guide. And you do not need the flip chart. I learned this after I purchased the teacher guide. The teacher guide has the pages for the flip chart in them. So it's something that I don't worry about anymore. Now, if you were to buy this curriculum new through Rainbow Resources, I'm pretty sure with them it would just be a one-time purchase and you would get the textbook and the CDs which come in, a, I believe, a DVD-ROM format and you would get the teacher guide in that DVD-ROM. So, um, like I said, I'm not for certain on that, but that is from the information that I've gathered from other YouTubers and from the Rainbow Resource website. It is a lot pricier, though. You're going to be paying about $130 for each grade level, where for me, I've never spent more than $40 on any of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the first grade level. I'm going to give you guys a Zoom look at what your student will be covering there's 10 units per grade level. Okay, so if we look at the units, and you guys can actually press pause and look at what it's covered um, as far as the lessons. But unit one, you're going to be doing doing science, science and technology. Unit three is matter. Unit four is energy. Unit five is motion. Unit six is earth's resources. Unit seven is weather and seasons. Unit eight is day and night. Unit nine, animals. And then you have unit 10, plants. As far as your first grade level, it is very simple, open and go. You have your lesson, which for this one is five senses. Very short, easy reading for the lesson. Beautiful big pictures. And then little areas for your student to do their activities. Then you have your sum it up portion. 
And that is basically the end of the lesson. The sum it up is basically your activity sheet or worksheet um, for the end of the lesson. So that's basically it. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a couple more flip throughs through this uh, book here. And I believe this is as far as we got. I don't think we even got to the to this lesson. Yeah. So that is what the lessons look like. Like I said, the kindergarten level is pretty simple. As far as the first grade level, the first grade level looks a lot more like the second grade level. And I'll show you guys that now. So because I do have the second grade levels teacher guide, I'll also give you guys a quick look at the teacher guide so you guys can see how that how they work together. So this is a science fusion. This is a second grade level. Again, in the beginning, you're going to give be given the different units. So unit one, and I will zoom in again. Okay, so again, you have unit one, work like a scientist. Unit two, technology in our world. Unit three, all about animals. Unit four, you have all about plants. Unit five, environment and living things. Unit six, earth and its resources. Unit seven, all about weather. Then you have unit eight, the solar system, changes in the matter. And then unit 10, energy and magnets. So now as far as the second grade level, you have... Um, so for instance, here's lesson one. You have an area for your vocabulary words. The vocabulary words are pretty easy to find. They're usually highlighted in yellow. And then throughout the lesson, you want to, your teacher guide actually tells you what to have your students underline, which is most of the time going to be the, um, the definition of the vocabulary word. They also give you a few little activities to do as you're reading. Super basic and simple. This is as hard as it gets, guys. So it's pretty easy. But again, this is a second grade level one. You have a few questions to answer. And then at the end of that lesson, that's basically it for lesson one. You have your sum it up portion again. Now for this one, you also get a brain check. And the first, like I said, the first grade level is more like this one than the kindergarten level. So it's, it's pretty much exactly like this setup. So you get your sum it up and then you get your brain check, which is usually just like a fun activity to go with the lesson. And then you go ahead and move on to lesson number two. And again, you have one, two, three, four pages basically four pages of your lesson you get your sum it up again and your brain check again just a fun little activity and that is basically lesson number two so now this takes me into the flip chart so now you have lesson three lesson three is a very short lesson you it tells you to use your flip chart i don't own the flip chart for this grade level but i do have one to show you this was for first grade and i decided not to buy it for this year because the teacher guide has these pages. So I didn't worry too much about it. So the flip chart basically gives you more of a STEM kind of extension to the lesson or more like a, I guess like a between the experiment pages or the STEM pages to go with the lesson, I guess I would say. So it kind of gives you more of a hands-on activity to do. And then it, this sheet here is used to answer the questions uh, based on the hands-on lesson that you're doing. So that is basically what the flip chart is. But I'll show you on the teacher guide real quick what the reason why I didn't buy the flip chart. If you look at the teacher guide, it basically gives you, and let me find it. It gives you the lesson, but it also gives you the page of the flip chart. So I didn't find like, I didn't find that I needed it this year because it had this. Um, so if we did a hands-on activity based on the lesson, I just used this for my flip chart. And that's how we did the lessons. So that is what the teacher guide looks like. And that's basically the same lesson, same lessons that you're looking at there. So it's going to give you your student pages. It's also going to give you a little bit of information. It's also going to give you the answers that your student's going to be working on. Let me get to a clean lesson. Uh, we're about halfway done with this workbook. Okay, so here's lesson four in uh, unit three, I think it is that we're in or unit. Oh, actually we're in unit five. Okay. So unit five, lesson four. So that is what your student looks at. And that is what you look at. So you're basically looking at the same exact pages from theirs. Yours has the answer. And then you have your flip chart. If you choose to do the activity on the flip chart, like I said, most of the time it's just going to be more of a hands-on activity for your student to do. So you have your four pages of reading Oh, actually, for this one is a little bit more. Then you have your sum it up. And again, you get your answers on your teacher guide, and then you get your sum it up with the answers. They get their little brain check, 
and then on to the next activity. A lot of sometimes they'll give you a little uh, page that gives you just information on certain um, either scientists or just different things um, that you could either build or do. Then you also get after every unit, you also get a review. Let me pull that aside. So I don't have the used ones to show you because we pull them out. So this is a unit five review and it's usually just that. And my kids usually do pretty good with these little unit reviews. And then you move on to the next unit. And that is basically what they look like. They're full color pages, very easy reading. The boys actually take turns reading and answering the questions by themselves. So that is how we usually do our science. Let me go ahead and um, show you. Like I said, I don't have the third grade level, but let me go ahead and show you guys the fourth grade level. So this here is the fourth grade level. I found this used at Goodwill. It was actually $5.99. And um, I did find two of them. I did find it odd that I found two of them, but I was pretty excited. So I went ahead and got them. Um, for some reason, I was confused as to the grade levels. And I thought I needed this grade level for next school year. But I don't. I actually need the third grade level. But it's no big deal because I already found them on Amazon for like $6. Okay, so the fourth grade level here. The unit one is going to be studying science, unit two, engineering process. So if you guys notice, a lot of the lessons are basically, you're just repeating a lot of the lessons, but you get just slightly more information every time you do it. So here in unit three, we have matter, unit four, forms of energy, unit five, electricity and circuits, unit six, forces in motion, unit seven, earth surface, water cycle and weather, patterns in the sky, and then unit 10 organisms in their environment. Um, so let me give you guys a quick flip through. So here you have unit one and then lesson one. So as you guys can see, the vocabulary areas get a little bit smaller. Some of this consists of more writing. Even the pages themselves have more writing to do. You obviously get more vocabulary words. I'm trying to see if the page, the lessons are longer. So it seems like the lessons are slightly longer. You still get to sum it up. But look at the sum it up and then the word play is a little bit of a harder activity. So let me put it side by side so you guys can see the difference. Now, like I said, I don't have the third grade level. So this is skipping a grade. But like that, you guys can see the difference in the sum it up page and the vocabulary based on the ones that I own. So there you can see the sum it up. Again, this is second grade. This is fourth grade. And then brain check. It's a lot easier versus that. So let me go ahead and find a unit review. So see, there's definitely going to be a lot more reading per lesson and then obviously more writing and answering questions, which is pretty good. I mean, it would be pretty age appropriate for. So here it shows you the flip chart. So I guess you would need the flip chart here. Again, if I was to find the teacher guide for this, I most likely wouldn't need that. So let me see. So this is what some of the lessons would look like. So I'm trying to, oh, so unit review, there it is. Okay, so you have your unit review. Obviously it does look a little harder. The type is a little smaller. It's probably gonna be just as long, about two pages long. And uh, that is it. So very similar. And again, these are work text. So you your student would be working out of this and they're completely consumable. So you will, for every student, you will have to buy them a separate workbook. Um, I mean, you can choose to maybe do a notebook and have them answer the questions on a notebook. So that way you could have them reuse it or you can reuse it with other students. The way that we do it is because since I have both my boys working from the same one, it's easier for me just to buy the consumable. So that is what Science Fusion looks like. I hope that kind of gave you guys a good idea as to what this curriculum looks like. I have received quite a few questions um, inquiring about this curriculum. So I hope that helped. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you next time.